Wow, it's uh, overwhelming uh, to see a facility that is this comprehensive, that is this inclusive, um, that has a mission that is this uh, profound. Uh, for me, uh, having a family member uh, that has uh, been diagnosed with autism, potentially has, uh, has some chromosomal deficiencies, and to see her and to know that a facility like this exists in the world gives me hope to see the gift of, of these children and adults who are uh, learning how to be integrated into our world gives me hope to see um, the integration and uh, between children who are, are not dealing with some of these um, uh, some of these conditions but see them acting with compassion and see them acting um, and integrating themselves uh, with children that are ha that do have um, some of these conditions uh, for me um, it, it's 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 not typical it's not something that you typically see and so I think it's a wonderful model and hopefully um, something that will be continued to be replicated throughout the world because the truth of the matter is that um, this is uh, uh, something that we're dealing with in all the different parts of the world and it's a very big issue that many families are struggling with because there isn't sufficient resources um, and especially as the children progress and become adults it becomes even more difficult because there's all kinds of um, worries that the parents have including who's going to take care of them if I'm not I'm not here and so in the United States and in Miami we're trying to build facilities and to build housing uh, that can give care and that can take care of children and adults with disabilities so that the parents can live with a little bit more peace. But to me what's most significant is not all of that, which is very significant, but for me it's the gift, the gift to the world that these children and adults represent. And sometimes as a parent I would imagine there's so much confusion and struggle that goes along with um, with uh, being a parent, but um, I think it becomes very evident very quickly that even though there's difficulty and even though there's struggle and even though there's a lot of work, that uh, this is a gift and this is a gift for the world, not just for their own family. And, and institutions like this highlight that gift and, and, and provide that gift to the world and, and, and certainly uh, here uh, to Israel. So, you know, for me, it's been a very impactful visit and I feel very blessed of all my time in Israel. This is probably one of the most uh, impactful things that I've seen since I've been here. until now but the most incredible moment for me was watching the band play but not just watching the band play which was sensational but one of the singers was blind and to hear her speak about Miami in the way that she spoke about Miami her dream to go to Miami and to think that at a very young age she was blind so she has this idea of what Miami is in her mind that is either been told to her maybe that she remembers when she was very little but it's amazing to see that someone can communicate that beauty which is I feel very much in my heart obviously being the mayor of Miami uh, but the excitement and the the, the um, joy over the prospect of potentially going to Miami for me was I'm very worried. touching. I'm worried that if he goes to Miami <laughs> he will beat me as mayor. <laughs> <laughs> 